Fatima radiallahu anha comes home. She is hungry. There is absolutely no food. Ali radiallahu anha tells Fatima radiallahu anha that go to your father and ask him if there is some food. Fatima radiallahu anha comes to the house of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Fatima radiallahu anha comes and knocks on the door. Umm Ayman radiallahu anha is seated by Nabi alayhi salam. From the very tone of the knock, Nabi alayhi salam said, Inna hadha lataqqu Fatima. This is my Fatima knocking at the door. وَلَقَدْ أَتَتْنَا فِي سَاعَةٍ مَا عَوَّدَتْنَا أَن تَأْتِينَا فِي مِثْلِهِ And my Fatima has come on a strange time. Normally my Fatima will not visit me on this time. Definitely there is something that is bothering my daughter. She enters the house of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She sits down, she then praises Nabi alayhi wa sallam, durood and salawat on the noble personality. And then, you know, she very, in a very subtle way, she indicates in a very modest way. Ya Rasool Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hathi al-malaika ta'amuha al-tahleel wa al-tasbih wa al-tahmeed fama ta'amuna. O Nabi of Allah, the angels glorify Allah perpetually, satisfy their needs by worshipping Allah. Myself, your son-in-law and your grandchildren have absolutely no food. Could you perhaps make some arrangements? Which father wants to see his daughter coming home with hunger? And Allah forbid that don't happen. If that comes and happens, to our, how would we react to the situation? We will go through depression that I don't know what and where we will go. Can any father contain himself? Do you know what an emotional meeting that is? Allah don't let, ever let that happen to us. To find your daughter coming in this way, to see your grandchildren hungry. Look at how the Nabi of Allah reacts. The Nabi of Allah's eyes become moist. He comes into emotions, but he calms himself down. Subhanallah, divinely contentment. Allah inspires it. The Nabi of Allah says, O oh Fatima, وَمَنْ كَانَ الْغِنَى فِي قَلْبِهِ The one who has contentment in his heart, no worldly condition will depress him. Conditions will come upon him. Conditions will come upon him. Like they say, having Allah on your side does not mean sailing on the ocean with no waves. It doesn't mean that. But having Allah on your side means sailing in such a ship which no storm can sink. That is what it means. It doesn't mean you will not have storms. You will have storms, you will have waves. But when you have Allah on your side, no storm will sink that ship. So the Nabi of Allah then tells his daughter, O oh Fatima, if you want, I will give you five sheep which someone brought and gave to me. I give it to you. You take it home, slaughter it and eat it. And if you want, عَلَّمْتُكِ خَمْسَ كَلِمَاتٍ عَلَّمَنِيهِنَّ جِبْرِيلٍ Or otherwise I teach you five words, five ayat, five duas, which if you recite will soothe you, satisfy you, your hunger, your depression, your pain, your agony, today, tomorrow when your father is around and when he's gone. We learn from these ahadith that there is a price for this divine joy. There was nothing wrong for the Nabi of Allah to say, Yeah, my daughter, take the sheep also and take the du'as also. But he didn't do that. He said, take the sheep or the du'a, one of the two. Bearing in mind, this is a father who sees his own daughter hungry. There is no words of any language that can translate the emotions of such a father. And Fatima, whom my Nabi loved the most, مَنْ أَحَبَّهَا فَقَدْ أَحَبَّنِي وَمَنْ آذَاهَا فَقَدْ آذَانِي Whoever loves my Fatima loves me. Whoever dislikes my Fatima dislikes me. Hassan and Hussain, the coolness of my eyes. She said, O Nabi of Allah, I will prefer those five words. I will prefer it. Nabi alayhi salam says, Okay, then say after me, O oh my daughter, Ya awwal al-awwaleen, wa ya akhir al-akhareen, wa ya rahim al-masakeen, ya dha al-quwwati al-mateen, ya arham al-rahimeen. She takes this, she reads this, she goes home, she returns to her husband. Imagine your wife send you with a shopping list and you come back with a dua. Never mind, you know, you just come back with a different item and you know what happens. Anyway, she comes with dua. Now what I'm saying, these are situations that bring depression to us. I don't know, has the tragedies of our times become more or has our forbearance levels dropped more? Petty, petty things today, trivial things, a man goes through depression. And immediately, you know, he needs to do this, he needs to go, you know, he's back onto his drugs, he's doing this, he's trivial, trivial things, and a person cannot contain himself. Petty issues and a man is divorcing his wife. And subhanallah, look at this condition, husband, wife and children, all are hungry. She comes home, she reads the duas to her husband, the husband is happy, the children, they soothe the children, the children are too young, too tender to fathom, to appreciate. But how Allah gave contentment to Fatima through this dua, Fatima's hunger was the price of this contentment. I said it on a full stomach, my brother, you heard it on a full stomach. Neither I can appreciate what this dua can do, neither you can appreciate. I and you both will have to collectively knock the door of Fatima to understand the hidden tranquility that Allah has kept in this dua. The tranquility that Allah has kept and how soothing this dua is. Then we'll have to ask Fatima, her hunger and the hunger of her husband and her children collectively was the result of the divine tranquility that Allah provided to her.